and we are live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fondex C Trader 101 webinar. My name is Annie. I head up community here at Fondex, and tonight I'll be sharing a bit about who we are and what our platform has to offer. Just to manage your expectations, I don't imagine we'll go over about 20 to 30 minutes, uh, depending on the amount of questions that I get. Um, so feel free to just send them over my way um, throughout tonight's webinar, and then I will get to them at the end. So with that, I will start with Fondex as a business. We are a multi-asset online CFD broker offering over 1,000 markets across Forex, shares, ETFs, and more. You can find the available assets just here on our site under trading. Um, if I go directly to Forex, you can find a full list of what is available, just scrolling down. And you can also see um, the average spread, the swaps, and a few more specifics, depending on the instruments that you're looking at. Now, next here, I could rave about all of the tools and features of our platform, but I would just prefer to show you. So before I do that, though, um, let's go through the sign-up process so that we can actually launch the Fondex C Trader platform. So you can open a demo account here to get a feel for the platform, um, or we can just go direct to start trading, and then I can show you in there how to open a demo account. So first, we'll click Start Trading. I already have it loaded here. Uh, and this is where you would enter your email address, your password and a phone number, all very straightforward. Click open trading account. Okay, so I will bounce around a little bit tonight, but we should be able to cover everything. Um, so I mentioned before uh, that we used the email to register, but you also had there what was called the C Trader ID, which is your CT ID. Um, and it's basically a unique identifier, almost like a username. So you'd see that here. It defaults to the first part of the registered email address. Um, but once you verify the email, you can change your CCID via change credentials right here. This is also where you would go to change your email and your password or basically just your sign up information. Immediately on the left of your CTID here, you have a few account specifics like the account status, which is live or demo. I opened a live one. Uh, your account number, which is issued by us. Your account type being hedged or netted. Um, hedged is the default, just ignore that. Um, the difference being between the two that with a hedged account, you can open multiple positions in the same instrument and in both directions simultaneously, i.e. hedge your uh, trades, whereas with a netted account, the one would cancel the other. So if I had a buy euro USD trade, opening a sell would then cancel my buy or I'd be essentially selling what I just bought. Uh, next here is your base currency, which is defaulted to US dollar uh, and your account balance. Mine is obviously new and empty, so it says zero. And finally, the maximum leverage available to your account. So this is also where you would go to uh, open new accounts. So you could, you could open your demo account in here or more live accounts and then switch comfortably between them directly from Ctrader. Just beside that is your workspace. Uh, here you can save your customized, your customized layouts. Um, so maybe when trading currencies, you want everything open and visible to you. Um, whereas if you're popping in mid-session um, just to see how the markets are going, you might want less information on your screen. And then lastly up here is the layout menu, which I'll come back to a little bit later. But before I do so, uh, we must get into the less glamorous but crucial activation of your Fundex account, which will be done here. Uh, so this is where you'd go to verify your account by submitting your standard KYC or know your customer documents as you would with any financial service provider, um, as well as completing what is called the suitability questionnaire. So this process has to be completed within 15 days of opening your account. And once everything is submitted to us, we will aim to get you verified in 24 hours or less. Now, in terms of the documents, 
um, that you are going to need to submit to us, we will need a utility bill, uh, no older than six months, showing us your name and address, the issuing body, um, and of course the issue date itself. Then secondly, we need a color copy of a current valid photo ID document, such as your passport or driver's license, with all of the relevant information visible and clearly legible. So that would be your name, uh, your date of birth, the ID or MRZ number and expiry date. So bearing in mind there that as with any regulated broker, you cannot make any withdrawals from your account until you are verified. Um, so it's not something that you want to put off, also so that you get the most out of trading with Fondex. Uh, so with that out of the way, you will want to actually fund your account so you can start trading. Deposit is pretty straightforward. You can do so instantly using a debit or credit card um, or a, an e-wallet. Um, you can also submit a wire transfer so you can, you can um, get a payment set up there. Um, and just in here, you'd need to quote the account number that I mentioned just a little while ago. Your withdrawal page is also accessed here. So provided that your account is verified, you should have that process within one working day. Um, lastly, there is just your settings, but I'll skip over that for now because a lot of it won't make sense until you've seen the whole platform. Um, and we'll just move to the very top of what is called the market watch, which is this entire section. And that is the trade tab up here. So this is where you would go to trade manually. Uh, you've got your pre-populated popular markets watch list, um, which is basically what Bondex customers are trading right now. And then you've got your lists filtered by uh, the instrument type and even the region. So if we go down to EU shares, you can see Belgium, UK, Germany, et cetera. Um, you can also create your own watch lists. So some of my favorite might be tech stocks. So here I would go uh, just up here, create new watch list. Let's call it tech stocks. And there I might want to add markets like Apple, Facebook, Amazon, and then there are hundreds more that you can choose from. Um, so you can do that, as I showed you here, from create new watch list or directly here just by right clicking and add to watch list and you can create your watch list there as well. Um, so really your, your watch list is just a way for you to organize your trading screen and really focus on the markets that you want to see. Next up here is the copy and the automate sections, which need their own webinars. But basically, this is where you would go to copy others' strategies um, or to use trading robots or C-bots to automate your trading. As I say, um, these will require a webinar of their own. So if you are interested in learning more about either one, let me know. Uh, but in the meantime, you can learn more via our website or by opening the demo account and just checking that out yourself. Next up here is uh, Analyze. So though currently empty because obviously it's a new account and I have no activity, this is an incredibly useful and insightful section once actually populated. So here you can get an overall picture of how many of your trades have closed in profit uh, or in loss and then see both your averages and your specifics on your trading activity. So there's a lot more available here. Just beneath that is messages where you can speak directly to our customer service team. And just under that is our partner section, um, which you would only really be able to access uh, if or when you request and receive partner status. Now I'll go back to trade uh, just because there's a lot more to see under here. And we'll start with the charts, which is probably the most important part of any platform. Uh, you can load your chart um, by searching for the preferred instrument in the search bar here. So I will open up this one. Um, or you can just use the icon over here. Let's add another one. 
With CTrader, you can place your trades directly from your chart using the Quick Trade panel, which is this section up here. On the left of the Quick Trade panel, we have a magnifying lens that zooms in and out of your chart. The templates icon here, so you can save the templates of your analysis that you've done in your chart and use on another use it on another one. Your time frames over here, and uh, where you can choose from your standard time frames and then 20 plus tick time frames, and then finally your chart type, uh, where you can move between a bar chart over here, your candlesticks or a line chart or the others. To the right, you can choose what you want displayed on your chart, um, such as the tick volume, let's say. Then your indicators, you can put in a moving average. Then your chart customizations, and you can really go as colorful as you want or need here. Uh, and finally, it wouldn't be a quick trade without the final icon over here where you can see and also remove um, any indicators or objects in one place. So the objects would be added via this panel over here. That would be um, your lines, your texts, your shapes, and you can also change the uh, multi, you can change the, the view of your charts into multi charts or revert back to just a single chart here. You can also take a screenshot of your chart here if you wanted to show your analysis somewhere. Next up from here is the Trade Watch panel, which is where the layout button actually becomes relevant. So you can remove or keep this depending on how busy you want the space to be, and that's this section down here. So to the right, you also have your active symbol panel. Um, which can also be hidden under layout. This section tells you everything you want to know about your trade or your order as you place it. So you can scroll down for the market details over here, your market hours, and finally your trade stats, um, which is also more interesting when actually populated. Um, at the very bottom, you've got a bit more reading on uh, the desired instrument from Google Finance and MSN Money. So as you would have noticed by now, there are several places within the C Trader where you can actually open a new trade. Um, so you've obviously got from your market watch here, you've got your watch lists, you've got the new order button at the top of your chart, you've got quick trade within your chart, you have the new order button here where trade watches, and then you've got your active symbol panel over here where you can buy or sell. Uh, finally, you may also have noticed here that there is a little target button, and that is the last way where you can actually place a position uh, within CTrader. So here you have access to trading central signals um, for Forex indices and commodities. So if you hover over target, it will pop up with a little window um, with trading central's recommendation on what position to open and on the potential results of that position. So your target is the maximum recommended take profit as set or determined by uh, Trading Central. The pips at the very top are how many you can expect to see on your return, uh, provided that you were to enter now. And then finally would be the potential profit in uh, your base currency, depending on, again, your volume and when you actually enter. So just underneath that, you would see buy or maybe sell. Um, kind of with all of that out of the way now, we could sort of head back to uh, settings. So here you can change the base currency that I mentioned. Um, you can lower your leverage and you can change your account type. You can do that there. Um, once you verified your email, you can also set up alerts uh, for various actions on here. Your general, some basics that you could also change from the C Trader directly up here. Um, then you've got assets, 
which lets you choose between units and lots. You can also customize your market watch uh, page over here, your notifications, and then your quick trade view and what you have available on that screen. Um, as well as you can set some hotkeys or uh, shortcuts from over here. And so with that, we come to the end of the webinar this evening. Um, if you do have any questions, please ask them now. Um, otherwise, I can also get back to you by email. Um, I will have your registration information. Uh, thank you for joining me this evening. Um, I would like to hear your feedback. So please visit Fondex Trading on Facebook and give the page a like if you haven't already. And if you go to the community tab on there, we do have a newly launched group where you can just talk to us directly. Um, but other than that, we should have this recording up on YouTube uh, by early next week. So keep an eye out for that as well. Thank you.